Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 45 of New Vegas. All right, when we left off, we were actually up on a ledge a little bit earlier, but I did a little exploring to try and get some of the markers around the next quest done. And, uh, stumbled upon this, and I figured I'd want to show you a little bit of a fight. More of a massacre, really. Because <laughs> I did not expect a critical strike on the first shot. It works. You know, it works. Hey, if it, if it works, it works. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Because that seemed really dumb. Alright, I think that'll work. And it will unlock this marker over here, I think. I think it's called Dagger's Point. Uh, I think it's called that. Because it looks familiar, from what I remember. Oh, I'll take these. And, oh, that's a way up. Cool. But it's not the way all the way up. God damn it. Motherfucker. Guess I gotta go the other way. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, then. I'll kill you. Okay. And they're now stuck in a wall. There we go. Can't get their... Well, anything right now. But it works. I was able to get... Hey, I leveled up. Can't get anything from them, though. But level up. Hey, it's still good. And I'm going to dump all, most of my stats into repair for right now. Oh. Oh. I hit 90 already. I'll dump the rest in science because I kind of need to up that. But now, 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 we can get jury rigging. Yay! Next perk will be tag for the fourth tag skill. And then after that will be action boy. But jury rigging is fucking godlike. Because look at this. Well, once I get to the right menu. <laughs> um... I can now repair this with any weapon with similar parts in my inventory. Any one-handed similar weapon in my inventory. I can repair it with anything. Even the that gun. Even a special unique weapon. I can repair it with that. And thusly, I can do it with basically anything, although I don't have that many other things to show it off with. Uh, I figured the tomahawk would also work for the fire axe, but apparently not. But, hey! Fucking godlike. Fucking godlike. That will carry me throughout the rest of the game with little issues whatsoever. Anytime I need to repair some unique weapon with, you know, no other way to get the stuff, repair it with a similar item. It's all good. From this point on, the rest of the game is good on repairs. I am good. Anyway. <laughs> uh, just to double check to see if I am right about this. Yeah, this is more valuable than the 10mm machine gun. So, I'm going to dump this on that. And there we go. I prioritize some of my weight. And... I'm pretty good with that. I can sell that whenever I want. I'm pretty good. Alright, now we're going to unlock this point here, which was the main point of the whole fucking thing <laughs> in the first place. Is it? I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. Well, I'm glad to help out in that regard. I think you go up this way to get to it. If I jump, there we go, and dagger's point, yes. Now I have it unlocked, and that's the main point of this video done. End of episode, thank no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Ooh, I hurt myself a little bit jumping out, though. <laughs> He's just floating in the water, that's hilarious. I'll drink a little bit of water. Uh, enemy. Holy shit. Shit, that's a giant red scorpion. Uh, 
I'm gonna kill it because it's there and it's ugly and I could use some of the red scorpion bits it got. It got. I'm speaking ghetto now apparently. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't just disappear on me, did you? Motherfucker. God damn it. Oh. My game. It's glitching out so bad. I wanted those. Oh well, some extra XP wouldn't hurt. <sighs> anyway, continue on to the next part of the quest, which is dealing with the front scout. Ooh, needed those. Uh, of the white legs, the forward scouts. That kind of went in an obvious direction. Um, there you are. What is that, a magnum revolver? I could use that for selling. And I could use it for killing. Crippled the head. One shot, not bad. Reload. And... Is that a mole rat? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I guess I, uh, I'm going to have to kill a mole rat too. I missed. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'd rather deal with the white leg than I would the mole rat. Uh, oh, well then. Uh, pair of hands would not be good enough. Okay. Uh, take those, that, and that, and there we go. I'll let her deal with that. I guess she also dealt with the dog. Yeah, no. Dog ran off. Yield. Now she's dealing with the dog. Okay. I like that she doesn't kill them unless she has to. So much better than follows Chalk in that regard. So much better. Okay, I guess this one's now no longer an issue. We'll head to this next marker over here. Kind of want to head to that as well as be dealing with the main quest. I want to get everything done on video if I can. And I guess she killed that. I'm guessing that it probably turned around and tried to kill her. A brilliant tactician or a sadistic bastard. We've had this discussion a million times. I don't know what to tell you anymore. Hey, Green Gecko. Put a couple rounds in that head. Big ass head. There we go. Missed one, but eh, it works. As long as it's killing what I need killed, I'm good. Those tents down there. Whoa, that that's is a white messed with my head. Camp. Uh -huh. Do you see the war totems they've erected around the tents? Uh, White leg warriors pray to them for strength and savagery before battle. This is no raiding band. So they intend on killing everything. Any advice on how to deal with the situation? You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then, though, and these will be strong fighters. We might also Tommy use Gunn? their superstition against them. White leg warriors believe that to lose their totems on the eve of battle is a terrible omen. Really? How do you know that? Uh, so the totems are sacred to uh, them somehow. Good to know. Yes. If their war totems were to disappear, they would likely lose the will to fight. Maybe. Let's go I down there and get, take command, care of business. But I advise caution if it is possible. Oh, we'll try. Can't guarantee shit. Like, you know, most of my life. <laughs> really? Most of my life I can't guarantee shit. Uh, is this the, uh... Yes, it is. We pass like moonlight on still water. Uh... Which... There it is. It is there. Okay, so it was being weird. Uh... See if I can land a headshot. Dead. 
Awesome. I don't know where that was from. Yep, that didn't work. That's not working at all. <laughs> um, might end up having to use this. Come on! There we go. Reload. I'm pretty much good now. Uh, hey, I could use that. Just for repairing stuff. Hey! You got what I needed. Cool. Take that. Ooh, I'm a little overweight now, though. Didn't want that. That is not something I wanted. But, now I can subsidize my uh, weight a bit now. I could repair Rat Slayer with that. That would work. Maintain this with... Uh, which one would have more value, really? Uh, I could repair that with this. Just to get that at full value and get that out of the way and less weight. That's always good, right? That's always good, right? Okay. I'm being weird. Uh, take a Sunset Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla! Okay. And I'm fully loaded there. Is there... Oh, there's some of them over there. Uh, not a lot of stuff. Outside not a lot of stuff the there. I could use that. Tan gecko hide. Not a lot. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Let's be honest here. I'm not really the kind of guy to preach at people. Especially when 90% of them will be shooting at me. And the other 10% that want to talk to me will be annoyed. So fuck that. <laughs> Let's just get that idea out of our heads right now. Uh, whoa. That's a thing. Bunch of healing powders. Don't really need to carry them. Uh, let's use this, our sniper rifle real quick. If I get the thing pulled out, that sounded a lot worse than I wanted it to. Uh, let's try this. No that did not work. Fuck. Okay, so... Is that poisoned? No, I can't really tell. Let's put a couple rounds in this head. Hopefully it works. No, it did not. Whoa! She took his head off pretty damn easy. God damn. Ooh, that was pretty cool. All right. Uh, all he has is a bladed gauntlet. Fucking useless. Take your head off, hopefully. That didn't work. Okay, let's hit for the head. Well, she's got it. What do you got? A sawed-off shotgun. Not... Not even shit. And the left arm is crippled. Soon the head will be off. What did I tell you? Well, it's not off. I mean, it's... Very, very hurt. That's for sure. It's not off yet. Couldn't I repair stuff with the shotgun or get that repaired? Pretty sure I can. A uh, bunch of fire axes. Hey, I can repair those together. That'd be good. Sawed off shotgun. Oh! Oh, hey! I could do that. That'd be something to do. Uh, that gun. Do I need that repaired? I need that repaired a lot more than I thought. Let's repair that with the shotgun. Yeah, there we go. That quest is done and over with. What marker have I unlocked now? 
That's a unloaded texture. Bighorn Bluff. Okay. That's a very much unloaded texture. He ordered the white legs to salt the earth so nothing grow again. Uh, we've already talked about this. You've said this nine million times. I know. Not good. That's mean. Jeez, so much unloaded texture over here. The hell? There it goes. I had to go farther in for it to load. I was just worried that I'd eventually fall through it. <laughs> that would not be good. The title of the episode would probably be Falling Through the Void, and then no one would know until then. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? Oh! Okay. It's a big horner. Hey, that's a ranger station. I kind of want to see that. You calm your tits. Alright? You calm your tits. I want to see this. Don't want to see you. I want to see this. Ranger substation eagle. Okay. Uh. Is there stuff here? Other than this? Ooh, a lot of stim packs. All right, cool beans. Uh, a lot of pork and beans. What's in the sack? A uh, honey mesquite pod. There's that. That is a hard case. Well, shit. Do I have any lock picking things? I'm pretty sure I do. Yes, I do. But I don't think I've upped my uh, lock picking skill in a bit. No, I have not. Wait, I could use that. I could. I could use that. And then unlock this. And see what's in here. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it's something worthwhile. Instead of... Fucking... Shit. Toodle fucking new. Hey, hunting rifle. Cool. Could use that. By use, I mean sell a lot of. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's not a lot I can use. Uh, the hunting rifle, like, the only thing I have to repair it is the rat slayer, and I'm not getting rid of that. That's my only scoped one I have right now. Uh, hmm. Go through this way. Hey, bunch of crates. Hey, some 357 rounds. About in here. Uh, nothing of use. Here they, are. they are? The hell are you talking about, girl? You talking about this big horner right here? Oh, there's this rad scorpion here that's throwing her off. There we go. That's all done and good. No, oh, it's empty. Great. Fantastic. Hopefully we do, and hopefully I've not blown out my brains by then because you've repeated the same conversation 900 times. Jesus. Ooh, wrench. Look how I was so utterly upset by that. And then I'm like, ooh, wrench. Cool, wrenches, yay. Tools. I'm, I'm a real man. Real man. Those are tools. Her. Okay. I've lost what's left of my mind, which was not that much. Okay, what was the other quest we had to do? Um, River Monsters. The Yaogwai at Pine Creek. Hmm. That'd be something to do. Or I can just continue to unlock map markers that I did not have l unlocked before. That's something to do, too. That's something fun to do, right? Is it fun? Is it? Is it? It's probably not fun for you. It's fun for me. That means I'm doing something. And it's something good for the game. So, hey. What's that? Uh... This 
the way up. Yeah, it is. Cool. There is another thing right here. Okay. The red gate. What is that? Oh, it's this thing. Oh, cool. I could have sworn there was something up at the red gate. I can swear. Yes. Travel with another. It is. I spend so long scouting on my own that I forget what human company is like. Yes, now shush. This is the body of Randall Clark. There, the sorrows, father in the caves. He watched over them when they first settled here. He protected them. But he was an old man by then. He was pretty much dying of terminal lung cancer by the time they got there. So, they left. <laughs> Wonderful backdrop. So, when he was going to die, he left them all personalized messages to each and every one of their ancestors and simply sat here to die of exposure all on his own. And he brought everything of his that he didn't want to leave behind, which includes the survivalist rifle, which I will now be using from here on, because it is a very good rifle, and the last data entry he has. Oh, I'll take that as well. And this is the last message. January 2nd. I've been leaving notes for them and gifts. They like the books. Started with stories, but moved on to weapons manuals, medical books, practical stuff. In the note, well, it's embarrassing, almost like those cards people used to give to each other. Everything sweet and loving. I tell them to read and to learn and to make the most of their new home. I tell them that I'm giving them Zion as a gift to make up for all the sorrows of their lives so far. And all the sorrows man has visited on man. I tell them to be kind to each other and modest. I tell them never to hurt each other, but that if someone else comes along and tries to hurt them to strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. I sign every note the father because, well, just because. There's that right there. January 18th. Have I mentioned that I'm dying? Mine's still sharp. Lungs are the problem. Might be cancer. Cough's been getting worse for months. Finally, there's blood in it. Getting harder to visit my little friends. Breath's so short. I've given away most of what I own. They'll find the rest in the caves when they get a little older. Which they never visited because they felt it was taboo. I don't want them to find me, though. The father is a broke-down old man. Disappointment. It's time. I don't want another birthday. January 23rd. It's cold enough that I won't last long on the high mound up next to Red Gate. I think I've got enough breath left in me to make it. I'll just lie down and stare at the sky. Feels right. I hope they'll do well. I hope no harm comes to them, from within or without. Did my best to prepare them with the last few notes. Said something kind about each one of them. What makes each one special. Told them the father was pleased by their kind natures, and that the, it would be up to them to handle things on their own from now on. That I'd be silent, but still watching and still caring. Lying, then. Oh, yes. Lied to you, Chair. Or Char. Or Charlotte, technically. And Alex. And Sylvie. Told you I'd be with you forever. But I wouldn't go back and unsay it once if I could. What's the point of it all? So many failures. But I never forget your face. I never forgot your face. Or Little Nuts. Or, sorry, Sylvie's. He, they used to say that happened after a while, but it never did for me. Maybe the only point of the, all this living was to keep those pictures in my head going for as long as I could. It was the only life I could give you. Not a day went by without. It wasn't choice. I chose to die again and again. Just never did. Body had its own drive. Well, the little ones will need it. Species will need it if it's to continue that blind drive onward. I wish them well, 
It's been a gift to me at the end of it all to behold innocence. Goodbye, Zion. Randall Dean Clark, February 5th, 2053 to January 2124. That is the last note of the survivalist. And this is the end of the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about these games that we love with each other. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.